welcome back to my channel. My name is Tom and right next to me is an amazing, beautiful woman. Her name is Meng Nyong. That is me. I don't, I still cannot really pronounce your last name properly, but... Delaire. Delaire. Yeah. Okay. Do you have an Instagram or do you have a YouTube that you can shout out? I do have an Instagram, but uh, it's N-Y-N-A-E-V-E -E 56. <laughs> if anyone's a Trust super me. geek and Wheel of Time follower, it's 90. 56? Oh, <laughs> I am definitely going to just put the link below yeah, like, so you guys can definitely follow somewhere. You okay? Can, like, put it across my chest. If you yes. Know. All right. Mm, okay. Not sure. But before we get into it, let's talk about what we're eating today. Okay. So we're trying out all this in and out secret menu. Not that secret because it's it's posted online, so you can definitely Google it. Uh, but there are some weird ones that I'm yeah. like I don't know. Uh, we have the Flying Dutchman, if you guys can see it, it's, uh, yeah, it's just two patties with cheese. <laughs> there, and then of course we have this french fries. You can actually ask for crispy and extra crispy. Yeah. So that's one of the secret menu. I didn't care for it, because <laughs> I just, just fries, I like stale fries, so. Do you like crispy fries or stale fries? I don't, I do not like stale fries. What are you talking about? Leave comment below. <laughs> Who's out there like me? I love stale fries. Everyone who I ask that we were eating fries, they all not liking the stale fries. No, I don't like stale fries. My friend Monica likes stale. Oh, yeah. see? Mm -hmm. I found one. Yeah. Where are you guys out there? Stale fries eater? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. No. Okay, so after that we have um, protein style double-double. Uh, and then there's the grilled cheese. They actually have grilled cheese, which they don't have patty, but they, it's one of the secret menu. There's the burger. Uh, it's called mustard fry. Yeah, I think they, they, they slather it in mustard and then they like fry it on the top. Yes, I think they just fry it on the patty oh. and then they just do it on the top. Huh. I don't know. We're going to try it today. I'm very excited. Uh, there's also... Uh, Double cup. I think this is the double double with grilled onion. Yeah. Uh, grilled onion is also one one of the specialty. Yeah, and they, uh, they now them. yeah now here comes the sad part. We ordered the animal fries, and they didn't come with it. It's what's in there. They had cheese, yeah. grilled onion, and, and also the spread. The this spread. Stuff right there. And so we have all these spread. We ask for more. Maybe this is how we exchange the spread with animal fries. So they can they, they, they figure we might just make it our own. I guess so. They charge you like five dollars <gasps> extra or something for animal fry. Yeah. Just Let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sad about just <laughs> talking about my my money's been eating away without me eating it. I've, you know that happened to me one time. Oh. I got like a three by three for free because because <laughs> they gave it to me by accident. Oh. <laughs> when do I have that? Oh, they also have 4x4, four four, which is 4 patties, 4 cheese, and then also have 10x10 10 10 if you're willing to do that challenge. And you're crazy. Yeah. And then uh, we also have the Neapolitan milkshake, which is uh, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry mixed together. I like it. That's it's good. quite sweet, but I like it because they give different flavors. Strawberry a little bit sour, mm -hmm. and then like the other two are just too sweet. But anyway, okay. And there's the lemonade. The pink lemonade is one of their specialty too, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you really see free refill in California uh, lemonade refill. I'll try the mustard one. Okay, you do that. All right. Oh, damn. Oh. I hate tomatoes. Oh, grab it. Take it out. It's Take it out. Who hates tomatoes? Oh, who, shit. Yeah, who hates tomatoes out there? Hmm. I don't know. How do I get? It tastes like a hamburger. Okay. Hmm. Like, well, I mean, like a regular in and out hamburger. Oh. But they do have mustard on top, right? Yeah, it, they do, no? I don't know. I think they screwed us over here. <gasps> mm -hmm. No, 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 in and now. I have high hopes on you. I'm eating this protein burger, though. Because he's healthy, and I'm not. 
No. Um. Are you later, sure healthy? later on, when do I have like? When do I ever healthy? I was hardcore, but I wasn't healthy. Oh, that's true. With your uh, yeah. What was it? Chicken? What were you eating? I was just eating a bunch of healthy food, but it wasn't that healthy when you eat too much. Yeah, I try to eat. <clears throat> I don't know. I tried to eat semi-healthy, and I was very sad, so I stopped. Isn't it? Eating healthy actually makes you depressed. <laughs> There's a saying. I'm just saying. Like, mm -hmm. Right? Isn't it? I remember when I was on this diet, and I was just trying to be healthy and be motivated. I got so sad because I couldn't enjoy the food I wanted on the time when I was hanging out with my friends. Okay. No, I take it back. Never mind. Forgot what I say. Look, yeah, I mean, you, want, you, you eat healthy, you eat healthy. I just couldn't do it because yeah. that was too sad. I like milkshakes too much. Oh yeah. Yeah. Milkshake is not my strongest because I feel like I'm lacto intolerance, but not really. I thought that's a really good thing to say. Mm -hmm. While you're eating a milkshake mm -hmm. and a cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Oh well. Okay, so let's get into today's topic. But before we get in, Manon, how do we know each other? Citrus College, mm -hmm. in the theater department. Yep. Acting our hearts out. Yep, yep. Manon was one of the most talented actress at the theater program in Citrus, even though most of us were pretty badass then. Yeah, that's very uh -huh. mm -hmm. yeah. I but, like to. Yeah. But she came off as a very shy person to begin with. Oh, I was, I'm was. i still kind of extremely shy. Yeah, but theater really brought you out. Mm -hmm. In fact, the first time I auditioned, I think I told you the story, but I had never done anything like that, and I was so embarrassed, I tried to rehearse my lines in the bathroom. And then somebody walked in, and I hid in the bathroom stall, and then I, then I was like paranoid that they were wondering, like, who is this weird person just standing in the bathroom stall? So then I sat down... <laughs> on the toilet um, and forgot I was wearing a skirt and the whole, like, not the whole back of my skirt, but most of it went into the toilet and then I had to go and do my audition with a wet skirt in the back. I got the part. <laughs> What's that for? For Lalista. Oh! Yeah. I think that's the first one you saw me in. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. My first place I saw was Cave Dwellers. Until you guys came in back for Lalista. Mm -hmm. And that's when I saw you. And I was like, who is this person? Oh my god, I really want to be her friend. And here we are. Well, how did you get out of your comfort zone and become more open? Oh, um, the, well, I had the opportunity, the first time we did it was with Lori. Mm -hmm. I love Lori. Look up Lori Woolery. Shout out to Lori <laughs> Woolery. <laughs> Yeah. Amazing director. Um, like, she just, like, made it so comfortable. And, like, it was just so freeing being on stage, like, for the first time. And, like, I wasn't Mignon. Mm -hmm. I was, like, these characters on stage. And, like, mm -hmm. I could go all out and do anything I wanted and be outrageous. <laughs> oh. It's freeing. Yeah. And then, so, once you freed up yourself from that world... You kind of filled up, you freed up yourself in reality, right? Mm hmm. For the most part, I think. Mm. Yeah. I had the same issue before. I was shy. You were. Mm -hmm. But I now mean, he's, you're a lot more social than I am. Yeah. Definitely. It was hard for me to speak English mm -hmm. to everyone, to actually have a conversation. And that's when I get very, very protective over Tom. If I hear or see anyone mocking him or making fun of him. <laughs> yes, she was very protective. I came out to her yes. first. Oh, at in and out oh. At in and out yes. Oh my, yes. I forgot, I forgot yeah. about that. And yeah, with, yeah. With uh, Susan. Yes. Susan with a Z. Yep. Yeah. She was my first came out person. Because I knew she would understand. Mm-hmm. I mean, out of nowhere, I just 
thought she would, she, I don't know, you just brought, you and Susan at that time just brought me out of myself because I just felt really comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm glad you did. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't can taste mustard in it. It's not yeah. bad. Okay, so I gotta tell you, every time when I go to <clears throat> in and now I order protein style. Just because I feel like I still want to eat the fries, so I don't want to overkill myself with the bread. Bread is my downfall. <laughs> I will always eat bread. <laughs> you put bread in front of me, I'll do it. That's why I can't do that keto thing. Keto thing. Keto? Keto. Yeah, there's no carbs, huh? Mm -mm. I'll play that. I don't... <clears throat> I stopped dieting. Which is really, like... Whatever, you mm -hmm. look better than you by seeing you look. It's about aging well, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's the Asian gene. No, I'm kidding. Okay, so I'm just going to use my hand to eat this uh, Flying Dutchman, okay? It, I think it's just patty with cheese, so I, it's not a big of a deal, but check this out. Flying Dutchman. What is it, why does it call Flying Dutchman? If anyone out there who knows this, please let me know. Mm. Wait, I don't know. I'm gonna pretend like I don't. Mm -hmm. A flying Dutchman is another term for a UFO. And this looks like a UFO. Oh, really? I don't know. If I'm right. Thumbs up. <laughs> if you're not wrong, if you're not right. If, if, I'll hear, we'll see it in the comments. <laughs> yeah, please see it in the comments <laughs> and don't thumbs down. <laughs> oh no, don't, th don't thumbs down me. I'm a very sensitive human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. wow. That looks kind of tasty. And they put grilled onions in it too? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, really good. Mm -hmm. I know in and out it's a West Coast thing, right? Because mm -hmm. they only open to Vegas. But California, they all have it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Although my sister, who lives in Oklahoma, does not like in and out very much. Why? I think she's crazy. This stuff is delicious. I love in and out Like, I love... Hands down, one of the more affordable burger in town. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, because as you can see, if you go to like burger joints, they jack up the price like crazy. I, I had did some research, the burger meats have grates. <clears throat> and maybe that's what they say, like they use better grade of meat. To it's supposed to be like 60, 40 or something like that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, I was so hungry before you, you got here. I, I prepped for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just had pho. Is it pho or pho? Pho? That's what I thought. <laughs> had an argument with my dad about this. Because yeah. there's some restaurants out there that are called pho king number yeah. one. Yeah, pho king number one. <laughs> yep, pho king number one. I have uh, the humor of like a teenager. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. I thought those were funny. Yeah. Um. Okay, so we graduated. After we graduated, I went on. I went to UC Irvine and pursuing more of the drama and theater and the creation of theater. So when Manil and I meet again, I was all geared up for like a technician oh, as, yeah. a, as a theater tech guy. And then, um, but when we finally really got down together and to do something again, it was, we were putting up a play that we wrote. No. Well, you wrote. <laughs> I helped. Yeah. <laughs> but, but she directed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she directed the, my first play that I first time written. Yeah. yeah. I liked it. It was so interesting. It was my second time directing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The first time I did, you know... Because as every first director should do, a Shakespeare play. Because why not? <laughs> Honestly, I hate Shakespeare. <laughs> and I have no shame about talking about how hateful I think Shakespeare is. I love Shakespeare. The language is beautiful. And for him to say that, he actually, when he does do Shakespeare, it's amazing. You just have a natural like ear for it or something. No, I just <laughs> actually have the opposite of the ear for it. What, what's the opposite of it? You hate it? You hate it so much it sounds good? No. Why is it called the con 
Oh, um, the iambic pentameter. Yeah, that bull crap. Um, I don't have the ear for it. So when I say my lines, I didn't know if I'm hitting those marks or not. Oh, well, I'm gonna be real honest. I don't. I don't. That's not my kind of directing style. That's no, like, but I'm <laughs> just saying. I'm just saying the language itself. Mm -hmm. I cannot. I don't know why it's beautiful or why it isn't because I don't have that rhythm. Where, when I do it, I would be like, oh, I know what their intention is, but I don't know if I'm sounding it. How how some director really care about oh, the yeah. language itself mm -hmm. or the pronunciation of the words itself, and I'm like, I don't know. I can't hear it. Yeah. Let's talk about <laughs> directing. Let's talk about directing today. Okay? Okay. Because you've done it and I've done it. <laughs> we have experienced directors. Okay. Back then, I think director has a very stronger say of how you should put your crafts together. Mm -hmm. So the actors become kind of like a chess pieces. Sometimes that's how I feel. That... Uh, a lot of times, it's your direction is from your point A to point B. This is what you should do, and this is what I'm giving you. Yeah. So the director will direct you to just get there. No question asked. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. But I don't, I don't think I'm that way. Right? Am I yeah. that way? No. Am I that way? I don't know. But oh, we're talking about back, back theater then. directing, yeah, yeah. Not, not film directing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> but so let's share a little bit of <laughs> these interesting incidents. Let's start with. When someone tell you, when another actor on the same scene mm -hmm. direct you, how did you feel? Oh, I think that's when like my when people first meet me, like they think I'm extremely shy. But if you give me, there's two things that'll set me off as an actor. One is giving me a line reading, or another actor telling me how I should act. I will, mm. I will go off. Oh, yeah. What is line reading? Oh, line reading. So let's say. You're reading the script, mm -hmm. and it says, you know, um, I'll never leave you. I'll love you forever. And you say that. And so I'm, I, I, that's my line. I say to Tom, you know, mm -hmm. I love you. I'll never leave you. And the, then the director goes over to you and says, I would like you to say it. I love you. I will never read you, <gasps> leave you. That immediately sets me off because it's telling you that, the, for me personally, it's telling me that as an actor, I don't know my intention behind the line. Yeah. So they don't think you're good enough. So they're instead of telling you what do you think, they're just saying like you're saying they're yeah. moving you on a chessboard. Like yeah, go here, do this. Yep. So we cover the line reading. It's like when another actor, when the director is acting it out to you uh, to the actor, and then want the actor to copy and paste exactly what mm -hmm. he just did. Yeah, that would set up people like discouraging people, discouraging mm -hmm. actors, and then when they're overpowering like if you're nobody and then uh Meryl Streep all of a sudden well I mean if Meryl Streep gave me a line read I actually <laughs> would take it but <laughs> so it becomes a a sense of power right mm -hmm. sense of yeah. how much you value this person and how much you're willing to listen to this person you know I guess that's probably why it pisses me off so much because it is taking that your power away yeah. that you have yeah so yeah it's it sucks okay and how and when you direct and you saw someone who did oh who told another actor how to, <laughs> how to direct what did you do oh, well <laughs> um i was very mature and i was like may i speak to you out no i wasn't i didn't do any of that i i sarcastically said to the person um i'm sorry but who's the director here <laughs> we should probably add that tom was also the stage manager slash uh Producer, yeah, well, basically everything <laughs> for the thing. So this is how we sat for like rehearsals most of the time. Yeah. So. Yeah. You got to hear, like, all my grumbling. Oh, that was fun though. It was a kind of interesting experience <laughs> of seeing from the different perspective, right? Uh, but it was really the first time for me to see Mignon's work. I know it was so much pressure. I don't want to let it let you down. No. I, there's nothing you can let me down though. I, okay. Here's the funny part. Nothing can be serious to me. No. <laughs> and I live for it. And like you know, like, I don't. I don't sound it like everything is very serious. I like everything in an environment where like, oh, you can say whatever you want mm -hmm. until you got my nerve. But that level, you know, that risk of getting there is really hard. Ooh, I've seen Tom Man before. 
Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, let's not go there. Yeah. When you get like that, I'm like. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's really hard for me to get there though. The play that we did together, um, when I was producing, I saw Mignon were doing a lot of great things. You know, like she. I like how you can communicate with different people. You know, director needs to have that kind of power to know how to communicate, <laughs> communicate with the yeah. actor to guide them, which is point, pointing out where they should go and where they should get to mm -hmm. as an actor, as a craft. And she did that. I mean, from my observation, she did that. I, lo I really enjoy you being my director. Oh, yeah. I do like your cheese. It's like whatever. My yeah. friend, yeah, my, my friend likes to get this a lot. I'm like, this is me telling you it sucks. Don't buy it. <laughs> I feel like it just literally buns and yeah yeah like they don't I don't think they grill it properly. Well, I think they grill it, but since they put like the lettuce, the and lettuce and tomato in it, it gets all soggy. Oh, notice how I'm not not stopping. You know? <clears throat> I'm not a grilled cheese fan, so I don't care. That's why you gave it to me. Yeah, that's why I eat the flying saucer. Mm hmm. Hmm. I like the soggy fries though. <laughs> you like the worst like things in french fries, Tom. What kind of food do you guys like? Okay, on that note, thank you for watching and thank you Mignon for coming to here. And please like, subscribe and comment below. Hit the notification button. Thank you all. Yeah, this is fun. This is mostly I've done without talking about sex. Okay, maybe next time. Bye. Bye.